Okay, so if we take a look at the uh, schematic, let me turn the radio down here so they don't have to listen to that. And we're interested in aligning this. You know, I'm quite, I'm quite satisfied, in fact, that the IF seems to be okay. I, I can't see how I can improve it from all my fiddling around. Uh, and that shouldn't be too surprising. But we want to check this. I replaced this capacitor earlier. A very important capacitor. Now, see these two identical resistors here. The objective is to get the most signal coming through and at the same time balance it so that the voltage from the top here to the bottom is zero. So first step is to get the most voltage coming through, most power coming through from this transformer. So the idea then is to measure across one of these resistors, I don't think it matters which one, measure across it, adjust the transformer, the right slug, this I believe the primary slug, and push the voltage up as high as you can get it, now you got all you're going to get. Now it's a question of balancing it. You move the voltmeter uh, to be across this capacitor, in effect, or across both these resistors. You then adjust this side to create a balance so that the voltage across your meter is zero. And all this has to be done with the radio properly tuned. Let's just check that quickly. I see it's not a little off. Now I have like six ways to move this back on. I'm going to tune the radio itself. Get this dead center. And we're going to fill around with this quite a bit too, of course. So, there we are. That, that to me is right in the center. Quickly, Jim, let me go back here. So, the first test I'm going to do, I have the voltmeter connected uh, essentially across this capacitor, which is where it's connected right now. Let's jump back and take a look at that. Okay, so there's the voltmeter. It's reading minus uh, 1.8, and we just want it to be as big, as, uh, as strong as possible by tuning that discriminator transformer. The one thing I could not sort out is, uh, is the primary of the transformer the lower slug, or is it the upper slug? I don't know. I couldn't find any hint anywhere in the manual about it. So we're going to have to wing it. So we're going to wing it. We're going to start down at the bottom here and see what happens when I turn the slug to this voltage. This is also painted in place so I'm going to break the paint when I do this. Here we go. I'm turning it now. I can't be sure if I'm just knocking the thing out of, out of balance or not. I'm turning it quite a bit, so I'm a little worried about that. So I'm going to put it back to where it was, roughly. So I, I'm in a bit of a quandary here over which slug is tuning which coil inside the discriminator transformer. Um, I mean, both of them are going to have an effect on both the maximum throughput and the balance, I would think. Maybe not so much on the balance, come to think of it. Maybe if I try the balance measurement, which is a measurement where you try to make the meter go to zero, maybe I can identify which slug is capable of doing that. I do the balance measurement. Right now I'm doing the, let's say, the throughput measurement. So let's let's move the voltmeter around so I can do the uh, balance one. Now I have to get across uh, across that capacitor. I think I can do that. I'm going to turn the set off though. I'm using my this meter because there's no ground connection on it. On this kind of meter is just just floating. I do not want to stick an unwanted ground in the middle of this situation. So that's across the big electrolytic capacitor. Hopefully I return those two slugs to their spot. 
let's get back to looking at the SDR here just to keep an eye on things. And the radio is warming up at the moment, so I don't dare do this until it settles down. So you minus 17. Wow! What happened to the 1 volt? Suddenly we've got 20 volts. This is supposed to be zero. While it's warming up, let's take another look at the schematic because I've lost my nerve here again. Uh, something seems to be not right. Okay, so I'm across the capacitor, this one here. Yeah. That should be zero. Zero. I'm getting minus 17. Uh, huh. Okay, uh, I don't know what to think. Uh, man, I'm really floored here. Let's go back to keeping an eye on this meter. I hate to do this. I'm going to tune the radio. trying to peak this meter. It's the wrong kind of meter to do this with. Better to do it with an indicating meter than a digital meter, but let me give it a go. 19.2 Looks like 19.2 is about the top. Uh, if we look at the uh, SDR, we're way off the center. So let, me, let me put it in the center. I did read the instructions, the meager, meager instructions for aligning this radio. Not very helpful, frankly. So that's dead center according to the SDR. And we don't have the maximum voltage here that we did. What's that trying to tell me? It's trying to tell me that this transformer is not tuned to 10.7. I think that's what the case would be. Sure, I'm supposed to drive that down to zero. Holy smokes. Have I really got it across the capacitor that I, I fool myself here? Now the clip leads are in there, it's pretty hard to see, but wow. If that's not across the capacitor, I don't know what it could possibly be. I don't know, I'm frozen here. Does that say something's wrong with the radio to get that kind of voltage? No, most likely something's wrong with me, and that's usually the case. Uh, okay, I'm going to turn the uh, slugs on the transformer slightly and see if there's a huge... Quiet, didn't they? See if there's a huge variation. Started thinking that's not the right capacitor, but how can it not be? Okay, turning one slug. So it's going to vary it, but it can't be huge. How high can we get it? That's interesting. Point six, I saw. Uh, this, this 
doesn't seem to be reacting much. Jumping around too. Well, I got the EBGBs. I got. I got. I'm just loaded with EBGBs here. Try the other slug. Put it to the loud. Let's put it to the loudest spot. That <laughs> we're still pretty much dead center on 10.7. Well, it sounds the loudest and it reads the loudest. the other one now we'll, we'll do one of those I think it was 8200 ohm resistors and we'll see how that goes let's see we can do this do this with it sticking my hand in the radio just change clip leads whoa 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 <laughs> that, was, that, was a, that was a dangerous moment there supposed to be zero now. One leg. This is totally backwards. No way. Th this is not supposed to be zero. My gory gosh. I think I gotta stop because uh, this just is not adding up. How could this be that far out? I won't stop though. You know I should. I should stop. Because everything's going haywire here. Here we go. It's a long ways, man. And the sound is disappearing. Can't even get down there. Interestingly enough, the slug seemed to be at one limit or close to one limit. I seem to have turned it quite a distance here. Let's back it up a little bit. We'll pretend that's good. What happened to the overall voltage? Don't get these clip leads mixed up now. Big voltage way down. Okay, let's try the top slug. On the assumption that top is the primary, this is the power booster. Point two is the most we can get. Let's go back to zero. Minus two volts. The SDR is just the sound sounds good. Okay, let's listen to this radio. See what we hear. I'm, 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 I don't know what to think of anything. There we go. What do we got for an antenna? Okay, we're using a standard FM antenna here. Book your holiday parties at wikispub.com. Growing up, you were told, you please remember. Why you got to never to wait. 
Space Water. Oh, you know what? I you took off that little antenna. That's why the STR went away. Right? Never to waste the heat. So why do we allow something we spend hundreds of dollars on every year to go to waste? We're talking about your dental benefits. Georgian Mall Family Dental wants to remind you that the new year is quickly approaching, and we don't want your benefits to go Sounds to waste. terrible, doesn't Schedule it? Schedule your appointment today before the year end, and let I don't think I did any good take here. care of yours. Georgian Mall Family Dental. Fresh Radio Berry, a chorus entertainment station. Earn more from day one at HGS. We are now hiring on-site customer service agents who could be our future work at home agents in Berry. With the there. ability to earn $12. Sounds like poo, though. Go now do what you're never supposed to do, a non-instrument, earborne adjustment here. The Corral in Oshawa is now welcoming clothing donations for their third annual Christmas dinner. Like new socks, hats, and mittens, as well as gently used coats for adults and children. Help spread the Christmas spirit and drop your donations off today at the Corral, Simcoe Street South, just north of the 401 in Oshawa. Your generosity goes a long way. The Corral thanks you for your kindness in advance. Hey, remember me? I'm a crack in your foundation. When you knew about, but you didn't know you had to disclose to the person buying your house. It's interesting. A realtor would have known. Uh, the upper one seemed to be about right, the lower one seemed to be way out. When your sale starts crumbling and collapsing, you're going to regret the day we met. The largest transaction of your life is the piece of a realtor. This Fairly good realtor volume coming through. Flash no regrets to learn more. Brought to you by Durham Region Association of Realtors. No, this isn't your regular alarm. This is your Durham Region Waste app. What that means essentially is that you're the only one that can use it. And that has other artists feeling, as you might guess, a little left out. One of them is giving Anish Kapoor a taste of his own medicine. Stuart Semple has a paint he calls pink, and it is, it is pink. Maybe the pinkest pink you've ever seen in your life. And unlike Vanta Black, anyone can buy and use pink. Anyone that is, except Anish Kapoor. I'm We've reached out to radio Stuart Semple at a beach at the Waterfall in Southampton, yeah. England. Hi, Stuart. Hello, how are you doing? I'm very well. Before we talk about pink, uh, I want to talk about black. Why do you wish hmm. Anish Kapoor would trouble share is down. Let me turn the trouble Vanta Black up. paint? It would just be amazing, wouldn't it, if um, all the artists could have a go with it and think of something to do. I mean, I wanted to use it to make some kind of acme holes, like the ones you get in the Roadrunner cartoons. <laughs> it would be really cool to put them everywhere. <laughs> and then I found out I couldn't, and I thought, yeah. What would you use it for? I mean, is it something that... Is it something that... Uh, well, maybe the, the better question Sounds is... Sounds great. Has this ever happened before? How many versions of that song are there? It's a weak signal. Wobulator territory. Take your Christian life to the next level by taking a course at Reinhardt College's School of Worship and Prophetic Ministry in Woodbridge. You can choose from courses in the prophetic. That is a perpetual hump there. The holiday tour coming soon to Barry. More info at 1011bigfm.com. Google dolls now from 101.1 Big FM. Phil Collins, love that guy. Poor Phil Collins and what happened to his uh, his hands. He had neck surgery to correct a nerve problem and lost uh, the use of his hands. You know, Phil Collins, a drummer. His career just, but he's remade himself. 
using electronic techniques. He's still generating music. First day of December with the Hunter brothers. And they are brothers. JJ Brock, Dusty Ty, and Luke. Well, they've been in our Kicks 106 studios. They uh, grew up on a farm in Saskatchewan. In fact, they still farm it with their family. But they love their music. Uh, they kind of grew up on gospel Kicks 106, music. But now he said. they've been doing some country as well. So combining the two together, gospel and country, and joy to the world, you got to check it out. It's at the bar this morning. Get your Kicks country on the go with the Lars Radio. Way off. Down the road or around the world. You Way don't off. have to leave home without Kicks ever again. Download it for free from your app. <laughs> Santa Claus lives in Canada. You know that, eh? Sorry, all you uh, Scandinavian countries. Uh, no, Santa Claus is Canadian. <laughs> I know this because when I was a kid, I used to listen to the Canadian Air Force track him as he came out of the North Pole and flew down over Canada to start his journey through the world. So I know these things. Every Canadian kid knows that. This St. Nicholas thing, hey, that's somebody trying to muscle in on our Christmas territory. Oh, in fact, she wants you to remake or redesign her ring or some other jewelry. You didn't know that? Ask her. Ask her right now. Turn to her and say, Jeff said that you want me to redesign your ring at Jeff Walters Jewelers. Is he right? <laughs> and here, if we start by December 6, I'll have it in time for Christmas. Now that's my commitment. Ten free diamonds and a custom for Christmas at Jeff Walters Jewelers. Honey, come look. Wow, is this our guest room? It looks amazing. I know. It's a miracle. Because Sleep Country's Boxing Week blowout is on right now, I got new pillows, sheets, and even this unbelievably comfortable mattress for a crazy good deal. And all before your parents arrive for the holidays. This room is even better than our own. Hey, maybe we should sleep in here. Sleep Country worked with their manufacturers to get out of this world prices before the holidays. So you don't have to wait. You know what? With these deals, we should get a new bed, too. Perfect. It'll be our gift to each other. Ah, you're only thinking... That, no, there's a gift you use while you're unconscious. Oops. While you're unconscious. It's actually broken into a sweat here. Not only that... Um, the people as widely as he can, but also that we get our hands on some Vanta Black at some point. Oh, thank you. Yeah, hopefully. You never know, eh? <laughs> uh, Stuart Semple, thanks so much for joining us today. A pleasure. Thank you. Stuart Semple is a British contemporary artist. Wow, what a what a lesson here. So I, I fought my way through trying to use the SDR to, to really uh, nail down the tuning on this radio. And speaking of which, let me set this just a little better. And... Uh, What did I do? In the end, I tuned it by ear, successfully. The holidays, maybe somewhere with a nice beach. When Q continues, oh, I got a movie for you. I need to get back to that beach, please. This is important to return the rock to the beach. It's not like it'd even be that much. Granted, it is tourist season. Watching the film Menorca feels like someone is shaking you awake from all your wildest escape fantasies. It looks at what happens when you indulge that voice telling you to run away from it all. I'll talk to the film's creator, John Bernard, about making an unsettling movie on purpose. Also, if you missed yesterday my conversation with Metallica drummer Lars Ulrich, you were tweeting in. It seemed as al almost as if I had it tuned a little too hot there and there was some noise coming through and I just kind of turned it a little less hot to me, a little less... Yeah, that's the best word for it. And uh, I seem to improve the signal-to-noise ratio quite a bit. So I think it sounds great. I, I don't know what else I would do. I had all this equipment in my shop. The heck with it. My ears seem to have won the day. <laughs> ah. SDR is very helpful at tuning it. Now, a lot of these radios have a center tuning meter, which is more or less monitoring which side the signal is on from 10.7. But it's based, that thing works, when everything else is working. So, again, you might have some trouble relying on the front panel tuning indicator. There isn't one on this radio. There's no tuning indicator at all. It's all done by ear. Great. I think I got somewhere. I think this radio is tuned well on the IF side, both AM and FM. 
from here I can move back to the front end, try and get the dial accurate and all that kind of stuff. And uh, then we'll be done. Right? So I think I got somewhere. I think I got somewhere. Wow. Oh, SDR has its own problems, doesn't it? But I still think it's a very helpful, helpful way to go. Okay, well, we'll see you on the next video. And I'll, uh, I'll do the front end of the radio again. We'll do the AM part, which I just kind of whipped through the first time through. And uh, we'll go from there. Great.